about something real light. Uh, not trying to basically see, you know, what it's like to do all this stuff. Um, it's a little something doing side because like I have nothing really to do while over here. I've been in Poland for about a week now. Um, starting to figure out a little bit. Other than that, uh, like I said, it's a little something doing the side, man. And basically, um, starting off starting off with a Q&A for Vlogger One. Just, you know, some of y'all threw some questions on IG. I'll post on my story and I got quite a few. So I'm gonna try, there's some of them are a lot, like most of them are really similar. Um, and a lot of them are like really you know, are different. So I'm gonna try to hit them as quick as I can. Question one, how'd you get a chance to play overseas? Um, so basically had a good uh, senior year, college career, um, all that other stuff. And um, signed with a sports agency and they're basically the middleman that talks to these, all these other teams, NBA teams, overseas teams and things like that. And so, um, with the whole COVID thing kind of messed stuff up, and the virus was messing up a lot of people's plans. Um, but other than that, basically, he was able to, uh, my agent, I should say, was able to um, communicate these teams, uh, got a couple contracts out, and uh, you know, this is the one here in Poland is where I decided to, to land, and so I'm excited to get going. It started a month early this year with the season, so stuff is really different. But um, so right around the late August is when I'm really gonna, you know, get active and start, you know, uh, playing games. The next question was what I think about my new team and mates. Um, I'm assuming it's from somebody that's over here referring to the mates. But uh, they're cool. Um, like I said, got like four Americans. They also speak English, um, which is awesome. Uh, some of the Polish people too. Are the guy Polish teammates would say speak English a little bit. So, but other than that, um, the coaching staff is real chill. Uh, like I said, I've been here for about a week. So I got like uh, a couple practices in, uh, a couple conditioning uh, sessions in, weightlifting sessions. But other than that, everyone else is cool. and so. Um, I'm excited to get going and get the season rolling. What was your college and pro recruitment like? Um, they were both, they're different, that's for sure. Um, college recruitment, you get to like fill out where you're gonna go uh, with the whole overseas stuff and like I said, the whole virus stuff that's messed people up. Um, the pro recruitment is way different. Like you don't get to, you don't get to get a feel for where you're gonna go. It's more like, you know, you kind of do some research and things like that. But like back in college, you can take, you know, official visits. Like now, like so I'm 5,000 miles away from home. So, you know, I saw my contract, I'm here and it's like, you know, there's no chance really to go back. Um, you know, you commit and you're doing your thing. And so, <laughs> random question, I don't know who this was. Uh, how do you like your steak? Uh, <laughs> I know people about to get on me for this, man, but like, I like no pink in mine at all. Uh, I just, I don't really mess with that stuff. I have, okay, I have ranch out and liked a little bit because now, like I said, it's a bit juicier, there's more flavor, I guess. Um, it ain't bad, but like, if there's any blood, it's not for me, so I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> Next question. How's the city, how's the language barrier, and then am I gonna get my pizza fixed over here? Um, the city, it's a tiny city, which like, you know, compared to Lafway, it's actually a bigger city. There's probably about, I don't even know the amount of people here, but it's definitely bigger than back at home. So I know when I was coming over here, the people were like, are the uh, managers and the coaches like, oh, no, tiny city, but you know, a big city, like 45 minutes away. And I'm like, what do you mean by tiny? Cause where I'm from, bro, it's definitely tiny. So I got here, it's way bigger than being back at home. So the city isn't that tiny. Um, I enjoy it. It's not too bad right now. It's like I'm on a apartment complex pretty much right in the center of the city. So I'm close to the mall, I'm close to food places. So I am getting my pizza fix at the fact. There's one literally, I'm sitting in my apartment right now. There's one like like a minute away, right around the corner. I can really go there and get pizza. So, and language, the language barrier, the language barrier, man. It's, it's not terrible. Some people like, the people will try to, uh, they'll try to speak English. Um, they can't really say numbers right. I know no Polish, so they're really doing me a favor by attempting to do something. But other than that, um, I can't really conversate with anybody. I have a translator app and things like that. But um, other than that, it's more like pointing and direction on things I want, ordering food. And the biggest thing has been trying to order food. That's been the hardest time trying to communicate with people and tell them like what I want on my food or like how I want it and things like that. And I'm a picky eater, so that don't help me at all. So that makes things difficult. This question is, what kept you going when you got tough? Um, honestly, just the drive wanted to be good, the drive wanted to achieve my goals. Um, like I said, this is was my dream being a kid was being able to play professional ball. And so the fact that I signed a pro contract, um, it's definitely a goal achieved. But like I said, for me, um, I feel like it's just another step in the right direction to where I want to get. I mean, um, I'm making money, you know, my job now is to play basketball, which is which is huge and a blessing. But overall, I feel like there's more to achieve. You know, I'm not gonna settle down, I might get complacent. And also just like a lot of family, you know, I had my backbone, uh, friends and things like that that, you know motivated me over there and had my back when you know things got tough so um yeah those are pretty much the huge things that kept me pushing through situations daily life in poland uh it's different um 
I don't really know anybody, so like my social my social life is pretty much like not really active right now. I'm just chilling, taking care of business, which is you know what I'm here to do. Um, different from school, I'm not like obligated to anything really besides like weight training, conditioning, practice, and then like games and stuff like that. So in that like you take that, that's if you do all four of those in one day, which you never do, that's maybe you know four to seven hours out the day, four to six hours out the day. And after that, like after I'm like waking up. You got so much time, the night time, you get to do whatever you want. And like for me, I'm just, it's new because I'm just like, man, like I got no school to worry about. Like I ain't got no one to take care of. Like I have nothing going on. And so at that point, even when I was in college, like working out, stuff like that, I'll try to squeeze in certain times to work out, but I'll definitely put that as a top priority. And like now getting to work out an extra hour, two hours, three hours is easy because like you have nothing else to do. Especially for me being over here, I'm, like I said, I don't know anybody. I'm not doing nothing, but playing hoops so basically I get to work out whenever I want to get better whenever I want to and that's been the biggest thing so that, that's the big difference I think as far as the day life of football. oh another thing too about pulling man is like some weird things I've noticed first of all is they only give you like one sauce packet with whatever thing you get so like you get some fries or some chicken or something they only give you one sauce packet and I'm like so like now I'm over here I ordered a 10 piece from KFC they have KFC here it's clutch I ordered a 10 piece and they gave me one barbecue cup. Then they don't put ice in any of the fountain drinks. So like you get a fountain drink, you gotta drink it quick if you want it cold. All crosswalks, no one jaywalks. Like back at home on the res, like you can, you just walk across the street whenever you feel like walk across the street. Not here. Like people would literally wait. There'd be no cars for miles and people would literally wait at the crosswalk for the little like, the sign to go off. It's like, it's like a weird noise, like doo -doo -doo type noise that like lets people know that you can go across. And there'll be no cars. And so one time I shot across the street because no one was coming. And like everyone that was from here, the locals, since I'm a foreigner now, were looking at me like, yo, this dude's crazy. And I was like, ah, hey man, I gotta get I gotta get to where I gotta go, you know what I mean? And like and at that, yo, the cars, they will always let you cross. Like, you know, in America, you might get you might get lucky if it's heavy traffic and someone will stop for you. You know, it's like it's kinda it's a little bit rare. But here it's like 99% of the time, if someone sees you at the crosswalk, they're stopping. And so that's like the biggest thing. I'm still alert though, you know, I'm checking both ways because all it takes is one person to slip up and I'm getting hit, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, everyone literally stops at the crosswalk and says, <sighs> okay, how old were you when you first got to compete against other kids and how'd it go? So I've been playing hoops since I was little, but I think my first legit tournament, I was in third grade and I played up with fifth graders. Um, it was in Yakima actually. Um, and how did it go? Well, check it out, I was mad sick. Like I was like literally like when I was like on the bench sitting there, like my dad, my pops was literally giving me medicine like to take you. And like I threw up that game. I learned what a five second like out of bounds rule was that game. Like I was just standing there with the rock and I had passed him before and the dude hit it and I was like, dang, all right, so I gotta be smarter than that. So I had it and I was literally waiting, waiting, waiting. Tweet, looked at the ref and he took the ball and I was like, what happened? And I ran down the court looking at my dad. He's like, you have five seconds to go in. I had no idea about that. Like. I mean, I played like boys and girls stuff younger, but like that was my first legit AAU tournament. And it went pretty well. I mean, I felt like it was fun. I was sick though, so I remember like glimpses of it. Um, but uh, playing sick well, definitely wasn't the move, but hey, that was my first tournament, so I got to experience it. And I played up, so you know, that, that put me ahead of the game already. That's what I was looking to do. At what age did you fall in love with the game? I feel like as soon as I was born, um, that's all I knew coming out, really, you know, like, you know, sports, basketball, football, baseball, even soccer. Um, you know, all of them, we was playing them growing up, um, playing with my, like, my little brother, and then, you know, as far as, like, all my bros back home. Um, I feel like there wasn't a specific point where I was like, man, I really love the game. It's just, like, there was a point where I realized, like, this is really what I want to do. In high school, like, at that point, like, my love for the game was, I mean, already through the roof. College is through the roof. Now it's still through the roof. Like, that drive, want to keep getting better, and I play the game is huge. Favorite memory from college? This is tough. Um, I mean, we can go sports-wise, we can go, like, hang out with friends. Um, we can go, like, family-wise and things like that. <sighs> Would have to be... There's a couple. So one of them was when my sophomore year, I believe, we had played WSU, and that's always a big battle, and we, like, end up smacking them, like, 30. That was a fun game right there, just because it was a packed gym, and we really went crazy. And the other one, like, I would say the best memory is winning senior year, senior night. Um, after going through a lot of turmoil through the season, um, it was like trying to do what I could to help us win on senior night. It was my senior night, me and my other boy from um, O-Town uh, back down in Florida. It was our senior night, only two seniors, um, and we had been going through like a rough patch throughout the season, and so we felt it was it was only right to try to win on senior night, which we did, and so that memory was, was definitely legit. That mad questions. 
how long am I staying overseas for? So right now I'm scheduled to be here until March, April-ish. That's when our season kind of ends. Uh, depending on how we do though, we can play into April and into May. So I'm here eight to 10 months pretty much. All right, so someone went kind of crazy and they said, what is your favorite drink? What is your favorite artist? What is your future job? What are your goals in life? And when do you start playing basketball? Your drink is, uh, I like Shirley Temples. I order those whenever I go out to restaurants. To me, I don't know they're fire. I like the Sprite, like the Grenadine mix, like super, super good mix. So that's my go-to drink. Um, any restaurant, things like that, Shirley Temple, try it. Who is my favorite artist? My favorite artist, you know, people that know me back home, man. My boy Bryson Tiller. Um, he, got a, he got a song for every mood. Um, I be listening to his stuff even before games, and people are like, you know, how you do that when it's like all slow vibes? I mean, he has a couple of, you know, hits like that. But like, I don't know, he just, he just sounds different to me. What is your future job? But right now it's weird because I think about that myself. It's like right now this is my job. And I want to be able to do this for as long as I possibly can. You know, as, as long as my body's healthy, I'm making you know, good money and things like that. Like this is what I like to do. This is what I you know grinded to do. So, um, but in the future, you know, like when I get back home and I hope you know, I can like help other people achieve their dreams, help other people, you know, get better at their craft, whether it be, you know, athletically or, you know, within themselves as a person. And then um, help like young people too. So what are my goals in life? My goals in life, um, is to be the best person I can be. <laughs> uh, I mean, realistically though, yeah, like that's what I want to do. I want to be able to inspire people, man. I want to be able to, you know, coming from a small area, Native American person, um, person of both minority groups, you know, African American, Native American. I want to be able to inspire them and let them know, like, you know, things can be done. I mean, there's going to be bumps in the road. I mean, like, you got to grind through a lot of stuff. Like, things that people don't even really think about or, like, realize. But once you achieve it, that makes the story that much better. I think for me, that's been a lot of my motivation. It's like, Man, you went through this and that. People don't really know, but like, you know, in the end, if you get to tell your story, it's gonna be like, oh, people are gonna be shocked. Dude. Biggest goal for my first year, my rookie season. My biggest goal is to try to come out and just help the team win. Um, as of right now, man, things are looking pretty good. We got a, you know, we got a solid team. I feel like I don't know what the other like talent level are these other teams are, um, but we got a whole fresh new set of guys. We got a fresh new set of staff, so everything's gonna be new. We gotta find a way to jail. But for me, man, like in the in the league that I'm in, I'm hoping you know I can open some eyes, get you know. Get the type of recognition I'm looking for, and then and then carry on to, to to later on in my career. But like one goal for me, man, is like you're only rookie once, and so like right now I try to go rookie of the year in our league. So I know it's gonna take a lot of work. My goal is to you know try to you know, rookie of the year, and so go out and compete and do the best I can. What's going to be the toughest challenge over this season? So just being a rookie, um, I don't know you know how the league works and things like that. I've been told by some of the older guys on the team that you know they don't. They, they, they give rookies a rookie treatment, which is like, you know, you ain't getting no calls, you know, they're making you earn everything you got, which is to be expected. So um, I think that might be a bigger thing, to, uh, an obstacle to overcome. But other than that, I'm going to go out and, you know, handle me and do what I can. What is your biggest regret? I don't, I don't, I don't really have any regrets in life. I'm not really too upset about anything. I feel like I'm right where I'm supposed to be. Um, I mean, there's things I definitely wish you know, I guess I can change, but at the same time, I feel like they helped me learn and grow as a person. So if I didn't have those things happen in my life, I don't think I'd be where I'm at. So I would say my biggest regret though, if I had to say a regret, would be not, like, this would not be, not being more involved in everything, um, if that makes sense. Like I said, you, know, you, only, you only live once. I mean, and I'm talking outside of sports, like I feel like sports kind of, you know, but it was always there for me, but I'm talking getting involved with people, with the other clubs, um, volunteer activities, you know, things like that. Just just to really, you know, helping people make you feel good overall. And so I feel like I, I wish I really would, you know, did more things like that or just been more interactive in things either, especially in high school, you know, more inter interactive and things like that. And then in college too, there's a ton of activities that go on that, you know, I feel like I missed out on or didn't get an opportunity to, you know, um, attend and things like that. So that's probably my biggest regret, I'd say, if I had to choose one. Well, man, I think that's all the questions. The first vlog, you know, just kind of get a feel, you know, how this stuff works. So in the next couple of videos, I'm gonna give you all a tour, like, you know, the place where I'm at, um, our arena and things like that. So definitely subscribe and like the video, man. Um, stay tuned for sure. I'm gonna try to, you know, put out videos every now and then. I'm not gonna be too serious about it, but you know, definitely drop some ideas and I'll post some stuff on Instagram and things like that. Um, so follow my socials, um, my Twitter, my IG and things like that. Asking y'all what y'all wanna see, and, like, you know, Maybe do another Q&A later down the road if y'all develop more questions. So thank you again. Appreciate y'all for watching. 2-5 out.